Soldiers sit around a single TV set in their living quarters. Troops in Iraq deal with Spartan living conditions. Accommodation is adequate, but privacy is short. Seven men live in this 30 by 40 foot room. At times, uh, I think we test each other's patience. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, in a way, this is kind of, uh, you know, this is our family. You know, while we're here. At one time, this base was hit by so many rockets, troops here called it Mortaritaville. All accommodations are protected. This building is made of thick concrete, which the soldiers who live here like. The good thing about the rocket attacks, at least for us, is that the building that we're in uh, could sustain a direct hit. I mean, it's reinforced concrete with rebar. Lately, the rocket attacks have eased off, and troops have other preoccupations. They miss their families, but there are compensations too. There is easy phone and internet access to call families back home. After you hit an IED and stuff, you just like to hear their voice. It kind of mellows you out, relaxes you. You get to see how their day's going, you know. I mean, we pray for them, they pray for us. For whatever free time soldiers can find, the base has a theater and fast food, and DVDs and video games are everywhere. And this game's all about wrecking cars. So. You wreck them here. But generally, free time is in short supply here, as the workday is often 12 hours or more. It's sleep when you can, um, video games, MWR. MWR, call your families, check your email, that type of thing. Many of the people on this base live in hardened buildings, but the majority live in prefabricated trailers like these. The protection is not a foot of concrete, instead it's sandbags wrapped around the exterior of each one of the cabins. In central Iraq, Doug Grindle reporting.